Welcome to today's edition of Rabbi Ron in the House. I'd like to begin by reading a poem to you. Mirror, mirror on the wall, can't you show me tall and slim? Mirror, mirror on the wall, must I look so bloody grim? Mirror, mirror on the wall, you're distorting my poor waist. Mirror, mirror on the wall, why must I be defaced? Mirror, mirror on the wall, why have I a double chin? Mirror, mirror on the wall, and why that stupid, goofy grin? Mirror, mirror on the wall, no point in asking who's the fairest. More bloody likely, who's the queerest? Now look, I paid big bucks for thee, so why can't you be nice to me? Now, this version of Mirror Mirror, as you know, didn't come out of Snow White. I found it on the internet, written by Mark Slaughter. A mirror's job is not to be nice. The mirror's job is simply to tell it like it is, to expose and show you whatever is there. The second item of worship in the tabernacle is the laver. Word laver sounds awful lot like our English word lavatory. A lavatory is another word for bathroom. The bathroom's a place in which you go to clean yourself. The laver was a basin for washing. It was a big bathtub. Before the people could go inside the Holy of Holies, they need to first go in there and take a bath and clean themselves. Now, I know when I go in and take a bath or take a shower and it's time to clean my back, I've got to sit there and reach my arms around like all this and... And i got to just hope that I get my back clean. But if I had a bathtub made of mirrors, I'd be able to see whether I got the job done right or not. A mirror allows you to see things you couldn't see on your own. Now, the mirrors help us to clean. In the basin, there are physical bodies. The Bible is what cleans inside of us. It says in Hebrews 4.12, The Word of God is living and active. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. It penetrates to dividing soul and spirit, joint and marrow, and it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. It said it penetrates. It doesn't just stay on the surface, allow you to see on the surface like the mirror does. It allows you to penetrate and get inside to see the soul and the spirit. It can even get inside and check out the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. That's what really helps make us clean. If we just have earthly mirrors, we can see what's here on the surface. But the Word of God gets inside of us. And when it can clean the thoughts and the attitudes of our hearts, then we don't have to worry about the words that come out of our mouth or the things that we do with our hands. Because if our attitudes and thoughts are pure, then so will be our words and our actions. And so... Whenever you read the Bible, which I hope you do every day, I want to encourage you to keep this in mind and pray. And maybe you'll pray something like this. Bible, Bible, to you I call. There is sin that can make me fall. Help me now to do what's right, to confess my sin and walk in the light. Thanks for joining us. Our time is up. It's Rabbi Ron in the house.